I know you guys have been hearing on social media about the new TransUnion sweep, right? On how you're able to go ahead and get anything and everything removed off your credit report in as little as four days. Listen, guys. Yes, it is true. There's definitely a new hack that's going around right now that a lot of people are promoting on social media on how you can get anything removed off your credit report. And guess what? It does work. But however, there is a caveat to it. And in this video, we're going to talk about this hack and this what's going on about it, what's surrounding it and everything like that and see whether you actually can qualify for this hack and if you can get things removed off your credit report. So you definitely want to tap in and find out more about the hottest thing on the streets right now. So let's get into it. This conversation about building up your blueprint. It's time to take it because time is wasted. Go grind and chase it. Don't lose it. This generation need integration with information to move with. An inclination that is abiding and entertaining improvement. Yep. Hey, what's going on, everyone? What's going on, man? Listen, I got one for you, man. This video here, you definitely want to go ahead and pay attention to YouTube world because this is one of the hottest things that's on the streets in the aspect of credit repair. And this has been circulating for quite some time now. And I want to go ahead and share this with everybody, although it took me some time to come to the decision of doing so. Nevertheless, I wanted to go ahead and share this with you guys. If this is your first time tuning into the channel. Thanks for tapping in with your main man. Appreciate you. Go ahead and do me a quick favor. Hit the like button as well as the subscribe button as well. So you can stay up to date and be part of the community. Also. Hit the bell notification as we do drop two videos per week on everything personal credit, finance, entrepreneurship, and as well, give you the blueprint to success. So I want to get straight into it without any further ado. A lot of you may be aware or not aware of this, of the new TransUnion sweep that has been going around on social media. This has been going viral on TikTok, Instagram, and there's actually a few videos here on YouTube outlining this particular hack as well. And what that is, is the hack pertaining to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, Section 605C, outlining for survivors of human trafficking, right? And what this hack actually does, it allows you to be able to remove anything and everything off your credit report. Yes, no cap. Actually, I've seen situations where individuals can been getting credit cards with limits of 50,000, 60,000 removed off your, their credit report, repossession, student loans, bankruptcies, foreclosures. It doesn't matter, whatever it is, inquiries. And not only is this being removed off their credit report, it's being removed off their credit report as fast as four days, typically on the average of seven days when it, as far as when we're talking about TransUnion. As a matter of fact, I've seen this also have been working with Equifax as well. And we're going to discuss in the video, not only the steps and strategies on how you'll be able to go ahead and utilize this hack, but also some of the lenders where you can pull from if you're looking to go ahead and get credit and boost your credit up. Because again, what I've normally been seeing here is individuals been using this hack to wipe their credit, wipe their credit clean of any negative and derogatory information. And then they'll go ahead and go to specific lenders where that credit reporting agency, for instance, we're going to just say TransUnion, they've been doing it so much. As a matter of fact, there's even instances where individuals are wiping their credit report clean from this hack, going to these lenders obtaining credit, obtaining funding, and then going back using the same strategy to go ahead and wipe their credit report clean to double back again. So yes, and the crazy part about it, th this is a law that was passed back in July of 2020 and individuals has just been exploiting it and everything like that. So it has been circulating for quite some time and I want to go ahead and share, share it with everybody in this video. First things first, before I move forward to keep going in the video, I definitely want to go ahead and get set the foundation and let everybody know that there is no way at all we're endorsing this or encouraging anybody to utilize this hack or exploit this hack. If you don't fall into this particular category, we're going to discuss in this video because 
number one, there can be huge re repercussions and ramifications if you choose to exploit this and if you are abusing this, especially whenever there's a situation where individuals can get instant results and pretty much get your credit clean in no time, there's going to be a high degree of abuse. Come on, we've seen when the PPP was out, what happened then? Everybody got a PPP loan, right? Nevertheless, we're not encouraging this. We're not endorsing this. The only thing I'm doing, I'm, of course, sharing this information out with everybody. So I'm bringing awareness to everybody. And of course, also, if you do fall into this category, this can definitely help you out. Because one thing I don't like is to see if individuals where this particular law was made for by the abuse of this, it will ultimately make it harder for those that disqualify for them to be able to have, actually take advantage of it. Definitely want to start off by giving that disclaimer here and letting everybody know there's no way we are endorsing or encouraging this, okay? But now that we got that out the way, to get straight into it, again, what this particular hack sits on or what it all derives from is from, again, from a law that was passed back in 2022 in regards to survivors of human trafficking. And this is under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which prohibits credit reporting agencies from reporting adverse information of individuals who've been victimized from human trafficking. And under the particular law, it's under the 605C, which I'm going to pull up right now. It actually outlines and states specifically, as you can see here, that a consumer reporting agency may not furnish a consumer report containing any adverse item of information about a consumer that resulted from a severe form of trafficking in persons or sex trafficking if the consumer has provided trafficking documentation to the consumer reporting agencies. This is a law that was meant to go ahead and help individuals who've been victimized by this particular situation. But again, this has been pretty much going viral. Individuals has been using this particular loophole that was passed a few years ago to be able to get individuals credit report wiped clean of anything negative on their credit report. And as a matter of fact, if you go directly on TransUnion's website, they do have a section that not only outlines this particular law here and explains it, but actually outlines the steps on how you'll be able to take advantage of this as well, too, which I'm going to go directly to their website and show it here, which if you go directly on TransUnion's website, as you can see, it outlines this is the section for of human trafficking, how to basically reclaim control of their credit. And again, this right here is if you're a survivor of human trafficking, you may have adverse items of information on your credit report as a result of the trafficking. We can help you through the process of removing that information. And as you can see here, there's several ways you can dispute any negative information from a result of human trafficking, whether you can submit directly on TransUnion website on their online site here which you'll sign up for a free account with TransUnion submitted online, or you can mail a letter to them. And what you would have to do to be able to submit a request is number one, your proof of identification, which is outlined here, your driver's license, social passport, birth certificate, or a copy of utility bill. Also, you would have to substantiate and provide proof that you were a victim or you are a victim of human trafficking. And there's several ways and forms on how you'll be able to satisfy this requirement. What I have been witnessing is, of course, a lot of individuals have been using the self, the self at a test provision to satisfy this requirement. As you can see here, you may also self attest as a victim of human trafficking, which means you simply have to create your own document that declares yourself as a victim of human trafficking. And that right there, as it outlines here on the website, is pretty straightforward as far as being able to go ahead and have this negative information removed off your credit. Because simply what you need to do is 
file a dispute letter arguing a violation of Section 605C, include a copy of your identification, and self-attest the re requirement saying that, yes, you are a victim of human trafficking. And with that, it's an obligation required under federal law that the credit reporting agency, that TransUnion has to have this removed off your credit report. Again, I've seen this happen as quick as four days, but typically within about a week, that's when individuals have been getting results here. And again, ladies and, 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 and gentlemen, I've seen people run up a bag with this particular uh, loophole here, literally being able to go ahead and get fifty to $100,000 in funding. And not only they've been able to do that, but they've been doubling back, have those removed off their credit report and double dip again. Again, this is a, a high degree of abuse happening with this. And what I want to show here is also the template letter that you can use, which have been drafted by the CFPB. It's also directly on the TransUnion website and which you can utilize to submit uh, dispute in regards to this. The letter is titled Trafficking Victims Letter to the Consumer Reporting Agency. First, you would address the letter to the particular consumer reporting agency, Equifax, Experian, or TransUnion. Then the letter is pretty straightforward, uh, stating you're a victim tr of trafficking, outline the counts you're looking to have disputed and removed because of your victimization of trafficking, then you would basically state that you want this information removed from your credit report within four business days pursuant to Section C of the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Have them send you an updated copy of your credit report. If your credit ain't high and it's actually down, the time to take action is now. Yeah. If your credit ain't high and it's actually down, the time to take action is now. Go get control of your credit, go on well, repair. Listen, I've been getting a lot of down. Oh, yes, you show you the leverage, you show you can get a new ride to go get you a house. Just so you don't feel despair, you don't feel embarrassed, it's right, so go get it done now. Don't survive through the week, go and prove, get it up. Want a life full of freedom to do what you want. He's a guy that you need, he's a dude that you want. Not five minus three, that's two, number one. Guy you will see if you hit him up. Go help with devotion, this I am sure of. Updates, promotions, this kind of courses. Work with him anywhere, but he's in Florida. Credit will get repaired. Yes, it will. And yeah, that pretty much sums it all up right there, guys. And not only has this been working for TransUnion, as you can see, but if you go directly to Equifax's website as well, which I'm going to go ahead and show. If you go on Equifax's website, they also have a section outlining this particular law. And very similar to TransUnion, you either can mail a dispute letter to Equifax or you can go ahead and submit your dispute online. You will go to Equifax's website, sign up for a free account with them, navigate to the section where it's for victims of human trafficking, and pretty much send in the same dispute letter that I've just outlined. Uh, a few minutes ago, alongside, of course, the substantiation, the documentation, which you would need, which, as like I shared earlier, uh, simply is a document stating that you self-attest that you are a victim of uh, human trafficking. And, and again, that is pretty much it. That is straightforward. That's it in a nutshell right there. Although I have not seen any examples of anybody utilizing this strategy with Experian. This has been going on for quite some time. I'm pretty sure that if you do this step, if you do this particular method with Experian, it's going to work maybe not as fast as TransUnion, but it probably more than likely will work. It's guaranteed results. Reason being because again, under this federal law, the credit reporting agencies are required to have this removed off of your credit. And, and again, I've been seeing this going viral on social media where individuals are saying that they're guaranteeing results, being able to get a sweep of everything and anything off of individuals' credit report. And, and what they're doing, they're doubling back. So individuals, what, for example, what they will do, they will go ahead and wipe their transunion credit report clean. Then they will go to lenders that pull specifically from transunion, which some of the lenders that pull specifically are 
the well-known ones like the Apple card, which is now with JP Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs is trying to pull out of that partnership. But the Apple card, the GM card, Navy Federal, depending on your regional location and everything, and also upgrade loans, which with upgrade, you'll be able to not only get a credit card, but you also be able to get a personal loan as they pull strictly from TransUnion as well, too. Of course, if you're going to use this method and if you are a victim before you apply, you want to go ahead and make sure you freeze your other two credit reports so you, they're only pulling from TransUnion and they're only viewing your TransUnion. For Equifax, of course, there's specified Equifax lend lenders that individuals have been going to. The more notable ones, Penn, Fed, Digital Financial Credit Union, Citibank, those are the more well-known ones when it comes to Equifax lenders. And again, you know, what we're doing here, the whole purpose of this video is just to go ahead and give everybody awareness, share with everybody what's going on. I don't encourage anybody that is not a victim of human trafficking, which I'm pretty sure is mostly everybody who is watching this video here. But nevertheless, I want to go ahead and share this information out, but I don't encourage you to go ahead and utilize this method unless you are an actual victim of human trafficking for the sake of there are going to be repercussions and ramifications for those that do abuse this. I am pretty certain that the videos that's going viral and the videos that's being promoting on this or just sharing this. The credit reporting agencies are aware of this. They do see a spike in their numbers in regards to this particular claim here. In the background, I'm pretty sure they are working on different ways, methods on how to prevent this, or they're even conducting investigations on how to go ahead and roadblock this. And the sad part about this is this law was put in place to help individuals who've been impacted by human trafficking as that is a very severe and, uh, deep problem. Ultimately, what this is going to do is just make it harder for those that actually have been victimized by this to be able to take advantage of this and actually get the necessary help they need by being impacted by those who are being, who are hurting them. But nevertheless, if you are somebody who have been victimized by human trafficking, and if you want to go ahead and have negative items removed off of your credit report because of that situation, I hope this video here helps you out, shares with you some strategies on how you'll be able to do so. Anybody, if you're watching this, if you know anybody who has been victimized of human trafficking, go ahead and put it in the comments or reach out, check the, hit the link down below, set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation with somebody from my team. And we'll be able to sit down and help you take advantage of the strategies so you can go ahead and get anything that's negative repairing, appearing on your credit report off of your report. Okay. But for those of you, for those of you, this does not apply for, I had to be a little melodramatic here. You feel me? For those of you where this does not apply for, please listen, there's other ways and mechanisms on how you can go ahead and improve your credit. Don't go down this route. Guys, listen, you don't want to put yourself in more trouble than what you already in with bad credit. If you're watching this video, you more than likely are suffering from it. So listen, I tell this from a lot of individuals, when you attempt to cut corners, when you attempt to go ahead and try to skip the line, guess what? What usually happens? Bad things happen, right? So you may get caught, you may get away with it, but more than likely you're going to end up getting cut is going to end up catching up to you. There are ways and mechanisms how you can actually get things removed off your credit. A quick piece of value I want to give to you here. The gold standard and getting things removed off your credit report is the consumer law 15 USC 1681. And that law there, which is under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, mandates that anything that's being reported on your credit by the credit reporting agency must be fair accurate and complete. If it doesn't fall if in any one of those categories or a combination of them, it must be either updated or removed off your credit. Okay. So although you highly unlikely using this method will get something removed off your credit in four to seven days. However, you can within 30 to 60 to 90 days, get items removed off your credit using this particular law here. And 
you know what you're doing it the right way. That's what we want to do at the end of the day, because it was bad habits that end up leading you to get bad credit. So you need to rewire your mind, re rewire your thinking to be able to achieve and maintain good credit. And that's the main thing here, right? Because it's sometimes it's easy to get good credit, but like I tell uh, a lot of my clients here, you didn't get bad credit overnight, so you're not going to get good credit overnight. It's a process, okay? It's going to take some work on your part. And part of that work, part of that effort is going to require building good habits, right? So getting rid of some of the bad habits that led us to get bad credit. What I've outlined in this video, simply repeating the cycle of bad habits, because ultimately what you're going to do is you're going to wipe your credit clean with this sweep and then but you're going to end up running up a bag and messing up your credit once again, but not only messing up your credit, but you're putting yourself in a deeper hole than you did originally. Versus if you go ahead and do it right the first time, rewire your mindset, able to go ahead and practice the good habits, work and put in the due diligence in obtaining good credit. Now, once you have achieved good credit, you have the habits and all you have to do now is just maintain it. And that is going to sustain itself for a lifetime. So you never have to worry about the whole problems of dealing with bad credit and all the problems that it brings. Thanks for watching this video. If you got great value of this video, do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can go ahead and stay up to date when we release more videos like this and the bell notification button as well too. Hit the like button. That helps YouTube go ahead and promote this video as well as other videos we drop so we can go ahead and spread it out to a wider audience. Also, drop a comment. If you know anybody that has utilized this particular hack, we do want to hear about it. Although we don't encourage it, we want to hear some of the results and what's going on, what the streets are talking. Again, this has been going on for quite some time. I would say for at least for the past five or six months, this has been buzzing on the streets. It's the hottest thing out right now. People are getting their credit report wiped clean of anything and everything. But again, there are better ways and we're just here to go ahead and share the information. I appreciate you for go ahead and showing us the support and love. We're trying to keep the lights on here, man. So just give us a little digital love by either liking, subscribing, or commenting on the video. That's all we ask for. Other than that, stay safe, stay dangerous, and we're going to catch you on the flip side. Take care. Peace. This conversation about building up your blueprint. It's time to take it, cause time is wasted. Go grind and chase it, don't lose it. This generation need integration with information to move with. An inclination that is abiding and entertaining improvement. Yep, West Paul with Blueprint. This guest all exclusive. Get on and tune in and then learn some new tips about credit, finance, investment. A nice chance to get rich and buy land. Flip it, quick nine bands. Learn all the skills from West, he did it. Learn how to build successful business. Run up a mill and get the digits. Run up a mill. Look, safe place where guests are speaking. Based on financial freedom. All facts, no cap, believe it. Podcast, you have to see it.